In our last episode, we talked about doing voltage drop check using our multimeter and our voltmeter function to walk all the way through a circuit and find out which part of it we had excessive voltage drop. We determined it was in this section here. We have since repaired the circuit. We went ahead and replaced the wire that's in here and made sure it was you know, repaired and in quality connection. But before we just assume that it's right, we want to take our meter and do the same checks again and make sure we have eliminated that voltage drop. When we first tested the circuit, we said before, we have to have the light on. If you don't have a load, you don't have any current flow. If you don't have any current flow, you can't have voltage drop. We got our load on again, take our cover off just so we can access it. We're gonna go ahead and just do the entire circuit. Starting off at our junction stud here and go to our light. Going positive to positive from the start of the circuit to the light positive. We have only 18 millivolts of difference. So let's say hey, we have almost no voltage drop in the circuit now. But this is the same type of circuit you have for a starter alternator. If we have corrosion on our big cables, you're not gonna get the right voltage to that starter for it to work properly. Keep in mind too, is light starter, it has to be tested under load. And it's always very important that you go back through when you are done and recheck it to make sure you did verify that is the issue and we were able to fix it.